the York Barbican, the, the second day of Zang the UK Zang Championship, Zang and it's Zhang Ander, Zang reigning Zang international Zang championship Zang winner, up against Elliot Zang Slesser Zang for a place Zang in the last 16. Open. The first of the possible 11 frames, six of course, is the target for victory. The winner to play either Juan Sijun or the reigning world champion Luca Brassell, who are underway on the neighbouring table. And it's a very good afternoon to Dominic Dale. Hi, Dom. Very good afternoon, Phil. Good afternoon, everybody. Elliot Slesser there, good long red from the break-off shot. Zhangander, this could be a very close match, but I think with the greater experience of Zhang on the big stage, I have to put him favourite, but this young man here, Elliot Slesser, is a very capable player. Both these players have similar styles, but maybe, just maybe Zhang could outscore Elliot today. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, Slesser is 29 years of age, hails from Gateshead in the north of England, currently ranked at 55. He has been in the world's top 40, that was back in 2021. He's perhaps best known for having beaten Ronnie O'Sullivan on two occasions handsomely in the same season. He's reached the semi-finals of a ranking event on two occasions. Firstly, at the Northern Ireland Open in 2017, having defeated O'Sullivan, as mentioned, on the way, and also at the British Open in 2021. He defeated O'Sullivan 6-2 in the China Open in 2018. So he's a player who is very capable, and I think he'll be motivated today he knows what Zhang Ander has been doing this season which has been quite extraordinary really I think that will make him doubly determined to upset the apple cart because as Don mentioned on form you'd have to make Zhang the favorite but Sessa may have other ideas today they played twice before it's one apiece Slesser having won back in 2019 at the Welsh Open 4-2 Zhang having beaten Slesser on his way to the final of the English Open this season by four frames to one, but of course this match is longer. for the black there but he's still on the pink pink spot does appear to be tied up although he went into the pack of reds they're still fairly tightly bunched although two or three of them are potable has now become available you can see the reds didn't really open very well for him and the cue balls just stuck among them so he has to be careful with his safety here can't do much with that red that's over the yellow pocket Could make for a very interesting frame now
less than 20 foot. Well, I'm not sure about that shot. Has he snooped the red over the yellow pocket? If he hasn't, that's a big mistake. to get back in for Slesser who will be very motivated to improve what is a pretty ordinary record in this particular tournament. He suffered seven first round defeats at the UK Championship and only made the last 32 once before this year back in 2020. Six. Defeated Louis Heathcote, 6-1. Graham Dot 6-3 and then David Lilly by six frames to three to get to the York Barbican. That was a match that contained one of the more unusual fouls you'll see with David Lilly playing the green, screwing back. And as he did so, Seven. the chalk fell out of his waistcoat pocket and the green, or rather the cue ball, careered into it. Foul four away when he had a chance to close to 3-2 behind. Slesser is on the red that's occupying the black spot. There's a little gap between the reds here that he can play through for position on blue or black. Зараз огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухані. Оупен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Непон Сенгахен, Кін Юнух. Так, Роні забуває червоний шар в лівому. Avoided the cannon, perhaps because he felt the red was missable. He's finished a little bit in no man's land. He's on the yellow. He's only a few more pots away from winning this first frame. He doesn't really want to make a mistake now. Getting on to his next red from the yellow won't be easy, though. Thirty-one. 
Це Такі іронії, Сальвар виграє перший фрейм з рахунком 77-0 і вдається в матчі з рахунком 1-0. Certainly been a sharp start from Elliot Slesser, but he did leave Sang under that red that was over the yellow pocket. How Sang missed it, I don't know. Could certainly have changed the course of this opening frame. Slesser having played a loose safety and leaving that opportunity for Zhang, but not punished, so now he can forget about it. Would have hurt if Zhang had made something substantial from that initial chance on the red. Elliot Slesser, 45. So 59 remaining. It's three snookers for Zhang Ander. Jack Anders' form this season really has been a revelation. Never been past the quarterfinals of a ranking event before he turned up in Brentwood for the English Open. Of course, he went to the final. He was 7-3 up in the final to Judd Trump before Trump produced one of his great comebacks to win the last six frames in a row. And you might have thought that would have knocked the stuffing out of him, but clearly saw the positive aspects of that great run. Turned up in Tianjin for the International Championship, beat Ronnie O'Sullivan, winning the last five frames in the semi-finals, and then outplayed Tom Ford to win the title. It really has been a remarkable upsurge in his game. It just shows what confidence can do. And when you consider he thought about giving up the game during the COVID pandemic, it's quite a story now inside the top 16 and if he wins today he'll be guaranteed to be in the masters in the new year got a lot of work to do to get back into this frame though but it won't hurt him just to get a feel for the conditions out here even if ultimately this lesser seems likely wins the frame Slesser's previous safety shot, he purposely put the black on the cushion, but with that one, he's just removed it again, which is beneficial, of course, to Zhang. And 68 points nil behind. just a couple of inches from the bolt cushion but this red is certainly on for Elliot which would should it go in finally put pay to this first frame nice 
executed, and that's been a theme in this opening frame for Slesser. Yes, he got a bit lucky when he played the loose safety and allowed Shank the chance to get back in, but he wasn't punished. He looks to be up for the battle today. Eight. Looking to really kickstart his season, and of course with the money on offer and the equivalent points at a tournament of this magnitude. Nine. Just a few wins can really do wonders for your confidence and indeed your ranking position. And I guess Zhang Ander is a great example to someone like Elliot Slesser that it only takes one inspired 16. week to transform your entire career. 17. The brown 17, five, is academic. Graham Elliott's last. Zhang Ander concedes. So Elliott Slesser has dominated the opening frame, helped by a break of 45. Zhang did have the chance to get back into it. He couldn't take it. And it's Slesser who leads by one frame to nil. Зараз ви огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань Оупен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. В турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Наполь Сенгахен, Кіннук. Against uh, Elliot Slesser in qualifying, a foul from the first shot because the cue ball was not inside the D, says Ben Williams, our referee. That's a new one on me, Don. I have never ever <laughs> seen that before. <laughs> there are times during the course of a frame when a player goes in off, and you actually purposely have to put the cue balls close to the edge with the extremities of those lines as possible. And you're perfectly entitled to ask the referee, is the cue ball in the D? And he has to answer you. But of course, when you break off, that's it's careless, really. I've never seen it before. Then we can finish up. Фрейм з рахунком 77-0 і видається в матчі з рахунком 1-0.
like so many players, past and present. Elliot Slessor was introduced to snooker courtesy of getting a table for Christmas from his granddad. Caught the bug. First turn pro in 2013. Table. Yes, Villain. And speaking of Christmas, Sangando was actually born on Christmas Day in 1991. He was, yeah. He'll be 32 this year. safety shot there opening all the reds into play as you can see but when you play those sorts of shots it's imperative you put your opponent under pressure by getting a good cue ball and he certainly hasn't done that so another wonderful chance here for Zhang with an opportunity like this he'd be disappointed not to score heavily from it he made 10 centuries on his way to the title of the international championship including of course the maximum break in the final against Tom Ford Eight. what a week it was for him defeating O'Sullivan from 6-4 down with a five frame burst in the semis on that red had to power it in to try and get nice on the black he's still a few inches short of ideal position on the black so he needs to be a little careful here He's always been a very solid player, Zhang. His movements around the table are very deliberate, very slow, measured. One unusual thing about him is he has a very long distance between his bridge thumb and the cue ball. You can see it's probably over 12 Wyszerze inches. Ohled Maciu, jak my się grają. Broni O'Sullivan i Ken Doherty. I graje się Turinier Wuhan. Open. He first made people sit up and take note when he very nearly beat Stephen Hendry on his crucible debut. He was two up with three to play. Eventually, Hendry denied him. In the decider, that was way back in 2010. And his career, up until this season, had never really kicked on 
to the next level. He entered that English Open, which he made the final of 57 in the world. And now he's in the world's top 16. It's quite a story. I think measured is the word in the way in which he goes about his snooker. He says he enjoys the longer matches and allows him to work his way into form. He certainly proved this season that he possesses a very cool temperament. And he's also Can you please proved, give your voices down, thank you. As ben Williams reminds people that at the end of the first frame on the other table, there's still live play here. He's shown that he can bounce back from disappointment because to have a 7-3 lead in a major final, having never been in that territory before and to lose it, albeit to an inspired comeback from Trump, well, he might have thought that his best chance to win a title had gone. But no, it's just made him stronger. Couldn't do much more positionally there. He'd finished so straight on the black, he was always screwing back into that red that was on the right-hand side cushion. He's still okay. He can drop this red into the center pocket and run through for pink or black. Just needs a couple more reds and colors to comfortably win our second frame and level the match up at one all. Now he's eyeing a possible 24th of this season. Oh, so engrossed in this break that's being constructed by Sang. He failed to notice he's actually on a maximum here. This could be the 10th black. Balls far from ideally positioned, but the way he's playing at the moment, the confidence he has, who knows? Well, the red that he's just cannoned has blocked the black for the right corner, which would have been much more preferable for Zhang, but he can just about screw back off the right-hand side cushion to play the black into the same pocket as the red. Eighty-one. 
The shot that Zan will be looking to play at some point is to try and play a four ball cannon on the red that's closest to that right hand side cushion just to knock it over the centre pocket. And that should leave him on a choice of the other two reds. So it's all about how many you can make here. Eighty-nine. Oh, he's played that perfectly, Phil. He has the angle here just to cannon that red that I suggested. The one that's closest to the right-hand side cushion that's near that right centre. If you can just cannon it delicately, you can bring it into play. As I say, he may have a choice of the other two reds. Well, he's just the cannon very, very well. He is rather straight on the red to the right corner, but I think he'll be happy. seven in the UK championship in qualifying this year as you sir against Ma Hai Long in the second round of the qualifying event in Leicester oh what a shame oh hang on maybe not a shame oh. <laughs> no maximum this time for Zhang Ander but 96 will do Rueful smile from Elliot Slesser. Battle joined, one frame all. Зараз ви огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грає це турнір в Ухань Опен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну An eventful second frame. It started with a very unusual foul with Elliot Slesser having failed to put the cue ball inside the D. And we might have been ending it with a maximum, but Zhang Ander missed the 13th red, 96. One frame apiece. <laughs> frame three of a possible 11. The winner to play either Luca Brussel or Yuan Sejun, who are in action next door. Yuan having taken the opening frame. I think the most important aspect of that shot from Zhang was to 
Play the red away from the black to finisher. develop the black. Very little likelihood, though, that the snooker will result in a mistake. I don't think it has. Какие ирони, Салливан Марей Перши. Фрейм с рахунком 77-0. И выдается матч с рахунком 1-0. Long red from Elliot. He's certainly attacking Jean this afternoon. Red on near the right corner for Elliot Slesser. Could he see enough of it to cut it in? I think Elliot Sless is offering a rewrite, is he? Yeah, I think they've agreed that that frame isn't going to progress at any great speed, so we'll start again. The winner has mentioned to play the winner of the match on the neighbouring table. Look at Brussel, the world champion, of course, up against Juan Sijun. Russell has just made a clearance of 127 to level the match after Yuan dominated the opening frame. So it's one each over there as well. Cracking match in the offing this evening on table one between Sean Murphy, the former UK champion, of course, and Hossein Vafai, first Iranian player to feature at the Crucible, the former shootout champion. It's their first meeting, believe it or not. That'll be coming up from 7 o'clock UK time this evening. Ali Carter Thank doing battle with frame. qualifier Matthew Zhang Selt on the other table tonight. And Zhang Ander tries again at the start of frame three after the rerun.
Can you please leave as quietly as possible, please? Thank you. Just a little awkward on this red, Elliot, because, well, one, he has to play it with the rest, of course, but he could do with being high on the black to make position easier to his next red. So stunning the cue ball around the angle to so try and leave himself high on the black, and unfortunately, he's just overrun it slightly and he's hampered. Зараз це огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань Опен. Матчі грається з 9 фреймів. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Фігінс, Кін Джин Ху, Напон Сенгахен, Кін Юнух. Так, початок першого фрейму. Я був трохи здивований, що Еліт вирішив грати в цьому шарві лівому лігу. Як ви бачите, він вирішив грати в цьому шарві лівому лігу. Я вирішив грати в цьому шарві лівому лігу. Although he's potentially on the green, it's going to be a big ask to pot it and get onto a red. Синішер. Так, і Іроні. Салівон виграє перший фрейм. Зараховується для Леса Ларсі, і ми повернули в in the final qualifying round before losing to his good friend Gary Wilson. 10-8 at the Crucible Theatre. Aside from that, his best run last season, a round of 16 at the German Masters. Little unfortunate there, Elliot. One of the reds that he played has cannoned 
another red into the middle of the table and it's exposed this red that's near the right corner now which Zhang can take on not on the green but my goodness he can nestle in right behind it and put Elliot Slesser in all kinds of trouble can prove to be a very useful bit of fortune for the international championship winner safe is if he can rest the cube into the back of that little group of reds below the pink but that really will take some doing if he can leave these balls safe somehow I'd be most impressed but this isn't going back this is a chance for Zhang to get back in fresh from his 96 break in frame two One. although he plays at a far more sedatory pace the way that Zhang plays does remind me of Mark Williams. He loves rolling balls in. Doesn't play shots with too much power unnecessarily. Twenty-four. Back. Jack 
became just the sixth player from mainland China to win a ranking event. And only the second to win one on home soil after Ding Zhenghui. And there are so many fringe benefits to a big win like the one he enjoyed in Tianjin. £175,000 first prize, as we know, has catapulted him into the top 16. Put him within one win of a place at the Masters, but of course he's also sitting pretty as regards the Players' Championship Series. World Grand Prix, the Players, and then the Tour Championship coming up in the new year. He's currently second only to Judd Trump on the one-year list, so financially, all sorts of benefits to winning a big title. he played in the champion of champions where he was due to play ronnie o'sullivan whom he beat in the semi-finals on his way to that title of course but o'sullivan withdrew he played ding in the end he beat him and it has been a remarkable spell of form from zhang and of course he wants to keep it going here at the uk championship that appears to have gone wrong. Yes, a slight hesitation in, in walking around the table there suggests to me he felt he had a bad bounce off the top or slide cushion there that allowed that cannon to take place. Cannon he didn't intend. So he's out of position now. This cue as to where he'd like that cue ball to finish. And he plays his safety shot. I wouldn't be surprised to see him play the red closest to the cue ball because where it is, it's possible. So a 28-point lead for Zhang. That's a good shot from Elliot, I have to say, but the red that's closest to that right corner will pot, and I do believe it's a shot to nothing. Keeble should return to bulk around the back of the black. caught the red wrongly there and definitely Zhang has a chance at a couple of reds to this left corner but they're both very missable sometimes you can make a, a half mistake as Elliot has done there and you can benefit from it if your opponent misses
surprised with that shot choice of Zhang's because he's left a choice of cuttable reds this right corner now for Elliot to attack. to close this frame out if he can get nicely onto his next red from this green. Cool. Just missed just the speed of the bounce on the bolt cushion there with the cue ball. So he's a bit further away than he wanted to be on this next red, but I expect him to get it. Although saying that, he's a little hampered. Bang. Very nicely cued, and now a golden opportunity for back-to-back -back frames for Zhang Ander. do it. Зараз огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань. Оупен. 
Последний раунд турнира. Майка выпьет. Последняя сетка. Одиграется с 9 фреймов. Допустим, например, играем Макс Сэлби, Джек Трамп, Джек Лисовски, Джо Хиггинс, Кин Джин Ху, Напон Сенгахен, Тинни Мук. Так, что тут больше фейма. Я уже не забываю, что он еще в левую лузу. Выхер на сцене шар. Пантина. Zhang just applying the finishing touches to this frame, which is well and truly won. But continuing to play in his usual measured fashion, not rushing, but just very much in control of how he wants to go about his snooker, which has paid handsome dividends in recent weeks. And he's knocking in the long ones as well. Solid all round performer, a heavy scorer, good potter, good temperament, very obviously. And at the moment, he can't miss. You might want to save some of these for when the frame's alive, Dom. Yeah, exactly. When you're Elliot Slessy, he just wants him to miss quickly to get on with the next frame. But they never do. That is one of the great challenges of this sport isn't it the amount of time that you spend in your chair helpless watching your opponent trying to stay positive focused ready for the chance if it comes it's easier said than done this is one of those sports that's pretty much unique actually and rendering you helpless unable to impact the game when your opponent's at the table. 49. This has been a very sweet break from Zhang. Fifty-four. Ninety-six in the previous frame, which might have been his second one four seven of the season. Sixty. Very fluent 60 break here to move into the lead. He clears the table. 67 for Zhang Ander. He's looking good again as he moves 2 1 in front here at the Barbican.
Thank you, both Brian. Elliot Slessor to break. Elliot Slessor breaking off in frame four, hoping to share the spoils before the interval. Took the first frame helped by a break of 45, but since then just 17 points for Slessor. Breaks of 96, 40 and 67 for Zhang Ander. Reasonable cue ball there from Elliot Slesser, but he has left this straightest red on for Zhang into the left corner. I guess having dominated the last two frames, he may fancy this. from the black that's closest to it. Oh, he may be able to play that cannon, actually. I thought he's very straight. Yeah, that's a shot he was looking to play. So it's a good chance, this, at the beginning of this fourth frame before the mid-session interval for Elliot. Important. He can capitalise. He attempted a red that went astray yeah. from Zangander. Квалификационный раунд турнира мает за выход в основную сетку. Одиграется с 9 фреймов. Так вот в этом турнире играет Марк Селби, Джек Трамп, Джек Лисовский, Джо Хиггинс, Кин Джин Ху. The red at the back of the pack may just about pot into the left corner, but certainly leave an angle here on the black if he wishes to go into them. Seventeen. Is he far enough if he screws into the pack of reds? He may just slide off them if he's not careful. Yeah, he couldn't play with too much power because that's what would have happened. He just finished a little awkward this. Finisher. Got all the makings of a really good match. This both players seem to be queuing. 
very nicely. We know that Jang Anders in the form of his life. Elliot Slesser has not had the greatest of starts to the season, but he's a big occasion player. And playing Jang Ander, one of the best in the world right now, at the UK Championship, is a big occasion. He's done for Ronnie O'Sullivan a couple of times in the past. He's certainly up for this. And if he can win this frame, that'll be a real boost going into the mid-session break. to blue be hampered if he takes the green on the yellow he'd have to play with the rest the blue may pop past or between the two reds into the left corner but it's not a straight pot so it's very missable way to the pocket but it's dropped in off the jaw so it's all about keeping concentration here for Slesser he's engineered a chance to make it to each bit of hubbub from next door these are the moments where he's got to remain absolutely focused blot out the noise and the movement around the arena as the players and indeed the spectators head off for a break next door. Luca Brussel has just made another century to make it two each against Yuan Sejun. The winner of that, of course, plays the winner of this in the round of 16. himself a little awkward here Elliot maybe hampered a bit by the blue but he may have a good angle to run through for the black here which will certainly benefit him So this red and another high value colour and Slesser will have completed his goal of sharing these first four frames. It's been an entertaining little mini session. We 
might have had a maximum break. We had a re-rack. We had an unusual foul. Slesser failing to place the cue ball in the D correctly before the break off. 70. And we're still no closer to knowing who's going to prevail. It's going to be a best of seven from here. 71. Replace in round two. Chance of a century break. He's only made 61 of them in his career. 79. Hot success, very healthy for both. Lesser has missed very little. He's missed that one. So it won't be a century, but it's more than enough to win the frame with only 51 remaining. So honours even after four frames here at the York Barbican on the second day of the UK Championship. Zhang Ander, the reigning international championship champion, and Elliot Slesser are level at two frames all. Сейчас огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні Осаліван і Кен Догаті. І грається турнір в Ухань Оупен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. Селби, Джек Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Непон Сенгахен, Кін Юну. Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, Вероні забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Семечок в першому фреймі. Тривовий хід на синій шар. Салівен виграє перший фрейм з рахунком 77-0 і видається в матчі з рахунком 1-0.
Зараз огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань Оупен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джек Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Непон Сенгахен, Кінь Мух. Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, Роні забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Далі він до Роні. Роні набирає 38 очок в першому фреймі.
Termín bude jedna sinisa. Taký jero, nie? Salivan ma hraje prši. Frame s rachunkom 77-0. I vidieť sa mať s rachunkom 1-0.
The fifth frame. So we're back underway in this first round match on the second day of the UK Championship, the reigning international championship champion, Zhang Ander, resuming in frame five of a possible 11. Two frames apiece. Let's listen to the first frame held by a break of 45. Zhang then stepped in with 96, which might have been a maximum. Dominated the third frame as well with breaks of 40 and 67, but Slessa responded impressively to take the fourth with a break of 79. So, on as even, both requiring four more for a place in round two. Jack Lissowski, Joe Higgins, Kim Jin Hu, Napon Senhagen, Kim Jin Hu. Так, початок першого фрейму. Хай вороні забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Good effort there from Zhang. It wasn't without risk attempting that red, but Keeble's finished about as safe as it could have done from a shot like that. Back after an interval and finding your rhythm, focus and concentration. It takes a few minutes. would finish but would be very happy with that Zhang can't see any obviously available loose red to play for so you may have to play this pink at pace and try and screw into the reds to develop something overhead if he's on the red to the left corner if he is he's a little fortunate If you're right behind it, but from where the cue ball is, it'd be very difficult to judge. But the blue's certainly available.
Well, unlucky to see the brown go in, but he did. Perhaps the red just a little on the thin side. That's why the keyboard hasn't finished tight against his top cushion. Now, can Elliot cut a red in somewhere? Or is it safe enough? got to be careful when playing a shot such as one Elliot Sless is playing now. You never quite know where all the reds are going to finish. Oh, he's played the cue ball really well there and fortunately for Elliot, the red just stopped short of the middle pocket. So that was a very good shot that he played there. first scoring opportunity in a situation like this could well be a frame winning one so this tactical exchange is vital very much advantage Slesser having got Zhang tight under the rail feels that he's really trapped here and that there's no obvious safety shot. He could play a very delicate roll up to the three reds. They're in a group there to the right of the pink spot. He'd have to get the pace absolutely perfect. That will do very nicely. Давайте он до Рони. Рони набрали 32 мячок в первом фрейме.
Then we can finish her. Tatiero, ne? Salvan Maria Persi. Frame, Trahunkum. It's a fair shot from Jan to get the cue ball so close to the top cushion, but Elliot could play a similar shot here if he wished. Needs to be played well though, because a mistake now could be very costly. good enough but I just wonder if the red that's close to the pink spot actually pots into the yellow pocket because Shan could attempt it screw back for the black and I don't think he'd leave a lot on if it didn't go in four out of eight from long range today Zhang close to the top cushion he won't be able to play a backspin shot to try and get the cue ball back to a similar position old just 12 points scored he's going to get the first chance to make something sizable close with the red but Jean Ander has a problem here because the nearest red now is probably four and a half feet away all but two of the reds in the bottom half of the table pretty unusual Elliot Sless by the way has taken or rather Luca Brussel has taken a 3-2 lead over Yuan Sejun the winner of that will play the Slesser or Zhang in the round of 16. So the world champion edging in front, 3-2. It could be possible that Elliot and Slesser can make a partner called Sang Ander can rest the cue ball against one of the reds on the bolt cushion, but it has to be very precise you could also just drop the cue ball against the two reds just above that left-hand centre pocket, but again, it had to be perfectly positioned with the cue ball to leave things safe.
Wow. Slice of the red finds the pocket, but sadly for Zhang, so does the white. So Elliot Slesser gets the chance. heavily here there are probably only four maybe five easily possible reds so he'll do well to get much above 30 odd here Сейчас это огляд матчу, в котором мы сыграем Роні Оселіван и Кен Догерти. Играется турнир в Ухань Open. Квалификационный раунд турнира имеет за выход в основную сетку. Матч играется с 9 фреймов. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Непон Сенгахен, Тіні Нух. Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, грані змінюючи вони шар для візу. Вихід на синій шар. Синіша. Так, і Іроні Салівон виграє перший фрейм з рахунком 77-0. І буде в цьому матчі з рахунком 1-0. So just 29 from the first opportunity with the red spread, albeit that a few of them are now a bit awkward. Lead of 29 points for Slesser. red that's near the left center is cuttable. It's 
not been a happy tournament for him down the years. Seven first round losses, four final frame deciding losses. interested in it certainly would have been if he didn't need to play it with the rest Certainly second prize for Slesser having missed the long red. Well, I think that's one of the most fortuitous snookers I've ever seen. Amazing how the pink was cannoned down the table and the white came up to meet it the way it did. as well as what does Sang to do here. Somehow he's got to try and drop him behind the two reds above the yellow, but getting there is a big problem. center pocket I don't know if the angles there or not he really is in a lot of trouble here safe that is an exceptional shot that he's played oh, wonderfully played wonderfully judged it's less of the first to acknowledge it having got the big slice of fortune in leaving Zhang snooker behind the pink but no damage done it would seem what a great escape that was left on the table.
це розгляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Салліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір у Хань Оупен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. Pretty ugly table at the moment. Both pink and blue in awkward spots. Five of the reds in the bulk area. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селді, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Напон Сенгахем, Тіні Нух. Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, Ромі забуває червоний шар до вилізу. Вихід на синій шар. I wonder if Elliot Slesser may be just tempted by one of the possible reds, the green pocket. Never easy spotting balls over such distance when they've been playing so much safety play. Так, давайте на Дароні. Дароні набирає 38 очок в першому фреймі. red that's near the green pocket. I'm not sure he has. Judging from that expression, perhaps he hasn't. Thank you, Ronnie. Sullivan will play the first frame with a point of 77-0. І видається матч з рахунком 1-0. Very unlucky to come in the red full ball as he did, but I do feel they have to take this brown on. Something's hit the deck, but Shane at the moment focused on this Brown as he looks to work his way back into contention in this increasingly awkward fifth frame. Plenty of pressure on that, knowing he was leaving. A good chance for Slesser if he missed. Thirty two the lead. 59 remaining. So two more reds required. Oh. 
Pau. Well, given the position of the balls, I think Elliot Slasser is a heavy favourite to win this frame anyway, but he does still need this black and one more red. On what will put him 48 in front with only 43 left, so Zhangyanda would need two snookers. Point. And then it goes, so not the prettiest frame. Safety being played at the top end of the table initially. Slesser got in first and he's been Yellow able ball. to dictate the frame since then he got lucky with the snooker behind the pink although it was a brilliant escape from Zhang Ander. and now he's just looking to tie things up here by pushing the yellow safe for extra insurance it's a big lead very big ask for Ander to get back into this frame And that certainly ends the argument. So back-to-back -back frames either side of the interval for Elliot Slesser. Always looked like being a pretty tight game, this. Zhang Ander, obviously the form horse, but Slesser is a tough competitor. Eight. And he would have enjoyed the challenge of taking on a recent ranking event winner. Of course, he's come into this match fresh from three victories in qualifying, so his game is well grooved and he's looking pretty solid so far as he edges a 34 and a half minute frame to take a 3 2 lead. Сейчас мы оглядим матч, в котором сыграем Ронни О'Салливан и Кен Догерти. Играется турнир в Ухань Опен. Квалификационный раунд турнира имеет за выход в основную сетку. Матч играется с 9 фреймов. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кім Джин Ху, Напон Сенгахен, Тіні Мук. Так, чотик першого фейму. Так, Ронні забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Це сикс фрак. Елліот Слесер, це брейк. 
So Elliot Slesser has built up some momentum, back-to-back -back frames to lead Zhang Ander by three frames to two. Still a long way to go in this one, though. Six, of course, is the target. Meeting with either the world champion, Luca Brussel, or Yuan Zijun. Brussel is currently leading 4-2 on the neighboring table. It's like another titanium feral don, which have become increasingly popular with the top pros. Yes, and probably eight to 10 players, maybe, that use them. Very few of the top 16 do, though. The shot very nicely. It was a little unfortunate, though, that he cannoned a red towards that left corner. It is cuttable, but it's far from straightforward. Elliot prefers the straighter one. Oh, beautifully cued. Yeah, it really was. Growing in confidence now. red to play for of course the black is tied up so he'll do well to score heavily here unless he can get into the pack of reds with the cue ball well. it's not easy to go into the reds from the blue because the pink is a good four or five inches above the pack of red so he'd have to use the pink to split the reds open if you can get a good angle on the yellow or the green perhaps that could be an option as well go into the pack of reds on the side then so I have to really power this in. Well, it wasn't easy. It was a good effort.
Just nine points scored by Zhang Anders since he led by two frames to one. So it's his turn to try and re-establish himself in this match. to have brought that red so far at the table. It will cut in. There's a chance that Zhang could play for the black from it, but it would be a risk. The problem is, what else can he play? The yellow is blocking the left-hand half of the pack of reds and possibly the blue the right half, so he doesn't have an easy safety shot to play. short of the bulk line for a choice of colour. Wow, oh dear, calamity. Hasn't quite reached. Well, Shang yes, thinks it, it did it, reach. It did reach. I saw the yellow move. It wasn't a foul. Ben Williams has uh, changed his decision because he's now seen that it's touching ball, which means by definition it must have reach the yellow. Так зараз the огляд матчу, яку ми зіграємо. Роні Осаліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань. Опен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. Ви маєте бачити, що Cue ball doesn't go around the back of the red that Elliot's trying to make contact with here, which is the red that's near the black spot. Выкид на синий шар. Фаунис. Зан на фолк. Such a difficult shot to judge this because Elliot is actually facing away from the pack of reds as you can see. So everything he's trying to achieve is actually behind him. Yeah, okay. Then we can see to be the lucrative snooker that Zhang Ander laid. Right, 
can see the funny side, but... Tricky for Slesser to make contact with the red, make sure that he leaves nothing in the process. Well played. too thin and the red that Elliot Slesser contacted there may be cuttable for Jean Andrew into the left hand corner Jean in particular has seen his average shot time slip a little since the interval that's partly due to what was very protracted fifth frame things were awkward he was playing catch up ultimately Slesser came through this one also has the makings of being Quite awkward, at least for the time being, with pink out of commission, the black off its spot. Good safety, good length, right under the cushion is Zhang. frame this for Zhang Ander. He's already 3-2 behind and the position of the Reds a mistake from him could easily find himself two frames behind in a bit of a sticky situation. some time now took a 2-1 lead with a 67 break before the interval but since then very few pots for Zhang Ander we've had the mid-session break as well so things have become a bit stagnated for him just needs to exercise patience wait for his opportunity
he's cuts this one thin because if he doesn't, the cube will become in the blue. to brown that's blocked off a lot of the left hand side of the table what a straightforward safety this for Elliot Slesser would have gone nowhere as it is he's put San Andrew in trouble there Так зараз огляд матчу в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті і грається турнір у Хань Open Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід основну сітку Адіграється з 9 фреймів. Також тим турнірі грає Мак Сайді, Джек Трамп, Джек Лісовський. Вау, я думаю, це не те, що він мав у мене, але він буде вдягнений з результатом. Напон Сенгахен, Тіні Мур. Так, початок першого фрейму. Ронін забуває, що вони шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Цей фрейм до 18-х минут. Стіл є ще не відбувається. 14 з Жанг's 15 пунктів. Кумінг по дінту до снукері, лей біля на єлло. Далі він до Роні. Ронь набирає 38 очок в першому фреймі. Now, is that a mistake? Can Zanganda cut this red into the left corner? There is a gap for the cue ball. It's a thin cut though, I suppose. Maybe Zang doesn't fancy it. Такий Роні, Сальван виграє перший фрейм з рахунком 77-0, який видався в матчі з рахунком 1-0.
finally a mistake had been made. It's been made by Jean. Red that's near the left corner is certainly potable, but having played all this safety play, pots like this are never easy. on the table this frame now into its 22nd minute Red to the left corner here for Elliot Slesser. Very thick. Again, our choice of cuttable reds, the same pocket for Zhang Ander here. Play them as a shot to nothing. Play for position on the brown, perhaps. the Reds having missed his pot but catching the middle pocket jaw cue balls remained at the sharp end of the table is there anything there for Zhang <coughs> well cued given that he's had very few pots in recent times. It was a good pot, actually. You're right. But I don't think he'd be particularly pleased with the position on the black. It's a thinner cut than he wanted it to be. Varying ways of playing this. He could just drop it in, plain ball. Just about hold for a red to the left corner. He could play for the red by the green. to level up this match again at 3 all. Yes, and just as importantly, to get some flow back into the queue action of his, because it's been a bit stop-start for Zhang since he took a 2-1 lead. And as we know, he's possessed of a very cool temperament. He's happy to bide his time. 
Nine. He likes the ebb and flow of the longer matches. Тепер це огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань Опен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. Вернувся Just feels like a more special arena again for that. Adds an extra prestige to proceedings and this tournament is certainly worthy of it. Second only to the World Championship in terms of ranking importance. £250,000 to the winner. A week today. So just this black and one more red required to restore parity in this match. It's been a very hard-fought contest this so far. I've been impressed with Elliot Slesser. I think he's played some very good solid snooker. 54. He hasn't made a lot of mistakes. Another good pop from Chang Ander. It was a, a delicate shot, but didn't touch the sides of the pocket. And it was the key shot. Slesser requires a snooker. Could have done with that black in as well. Maybe just a moment's lapse of concentration. Having potted frame ball. Yeah, he's cross. So 54 the difference, still 51 there.
just one snooker required. 16. of this red Elliot can see but if you can hit it half ball you may be able to get the cube in behind the yellow here because Elliot wanted to attempt that red because in potting the black now he'll still just need that one snooker he's on the black quite nicely And with the black mist, Slesser concedes a frame that lasted very nearly 34 minutes. It's gone the way of Zhang and a break of 55, restoring some fluency to his game and leveling it up at 3 all. Сейчас это огляд матчу, в котором мы сыграем. Тронни О'Салливан и Кен Догерти. Играется турнир в Ухань. Опен. Квалификационный раунд турнира имеет за выход в основную сетку. Матч играется с 9 фреймов.
гостем турнире играли Марк Селби, Джек Трамп, Джек Лисовски, Джо Хиггинс, Ким Джин Ху, Напон Сенгахен, Тинь Нух. Так, печатать большую фрейму. Так, вроде не забывай червоный шар в левую лузу. Выхид на синий шар. Давайте он до Рони. Рони набрали 32 мячок в первом фрейме. Первый выход на синий шар. Nothing to choose then after six frames. Possible five still to play. It's a best of five for a match from here at three each. Changander with a break of 55 doing the damage in another lengthy frame. We've had back-to-back -back frames lasting in excess of 34 minutes. I just get the feeling that Zhang Andu will be happier with being three all more than perhaps Elliot Slesser, who I think has played a very, very solid match so far. He has only made two breaks over 30, one of 45 in the first frame and a 79, which allowed him to level the match up at two all. But he seems to have played a lot better than that to me. Kiss. It was unwanted though. Chance of a red to the left centre here for Shanda. He was willing that cue ball to pull up a little. So just the snooker. Played it perfectly because of the cue ball being positioned where it is, next to the green. Elliot Slesser. Well, he wants to rest the cue ball into the left hand side of the pack. He's going to have to come twice across the table to get there. He's misjudged this. But he hasn't left a pot on. And inevitably, given that he didn't leave a pot for Zhang, it's going back again.
He's contacted the Reds, but unfortunately, he has left a red on for Zhang Ander. No guarantee of position, but I think he can just skim off a couple of reds and he'll expect to be on well, possibly even the pink. almost on the pink but you can still cut the black in but the black eludes him he hasn't been missing Many pots like that of late, Jane Ander. That's a let off for Elliot Slesser now. And he inflicts some punishment. Four apiece next door between world champion Luca Brussel and Yuan Sijun. Winner of that, of course, plays whoever comes through this in the round of 16. Very straight on the pink, couldn't do much 14. more with the cue ball. We'll have to go up for a bulk colour now. Oh, he's missed the red. Well, he hasn't missed Elliot too many easy pots, 14. Elliot, but he'll be disappointed to have missed that one. Has he hampered Jane? So that was a chance One. to punish Zhang Anders, Miss Black off spot. Now Zhang has the opportunity to inflict a bit of pain. He too has finished this and straight on the pink. Still play for one of the two reds. Left and right of the pack as we look. Two will have to play it for a bulk colour here. Unless he decides to play the red to the green pocket. Jack Lisowski, Joe Higgins, Kim Jin Hu, Napon Senhagen, Kim Jin Hu. Tak počátek prvního frameu. Eight. Tak Ronin zabývají červený šar v levou luzu. Vychytná se jiný šar. that particularly well wanted to leave the red next to the blue fairly straight to this Eleven. left corner it's much more missable now he can knock it in it'll bring the blue into play and he should be able to leave himself a good angle to go into the pack of reds well 
very nicely struck to keep the break going. Then we can finish her. Never more than a frame between this pair today. Couldn't have hit those much better. But is he on anything? Yeah, There's a choice of two reds to each corner, but they're not as straightforward as Jen was hoping. Tricky enough to miss. So that's a potentially big moment in this frame. Had that gone in, Jan was looking good to build at least a sizable lead, if not a frame winning one. One. Cushion first to hold for the pink, and Jan, well, you can see his frustration. Expensive miss. And if Elliot will play a little delicate cannon into that trio of reds below the pink spot here. Fortunate there, the pink will spot into the right center. It's a little bit of an awkward angle, this. It's high, it's like eight. and he's furious about it. Both players have had their chances in this frame. Another one goes begging for Slesser, and he is thoroughly exasperated. Simmering, I think, is the word I'd use, because he can be on occasion a little volatile, Elliot Slesser. Temperament in sport is so important. He needs to just remain calm and vigilant. What? Very nearly went wrong immediately for Zhang. So just a feeling now that the tension is beginning to rise as we head towards the crucial end of this match. Neither player at the moment have been able to forge a clear advantage. Ball's pretty inviting. the advantage of having won lots of matches Seven. recently, having lifted a big title, his maiden ranking event, having catapulted himself into the game's elite, the top 16. But there's plenty riding on this match for him, Eight. as well as Elliot Slesser, of course, because victory will secure his spot at the Masters. This tournament is the cutoff for Ali Pali in the new year. Pot success dead level. Scores level, but Zhang with the 
opportunity here to move back in front. Slesser knows that these could perhaps should have been his before the miss pink to right centre. need to take the pink on now and it is missable as the pressure increases as both players are just within a few frames of victory the lead so he needs both reds for 4-3 Играется турнир в Ухань. Опен. Квалификационный раунд турнира мает за выход в основную сетку. Фрустрация the slip from his grasp. Mark Selby, Judd Trump, Jack Lisowski, Joe Higgins, Kim Jin Hu, Napon Sanghahan, Kim Mu. Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, Рон не забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. 44. Так, давайте он за Рони. Рони набирает 38 очков в первом фрейме. A break of 59 to the pink after Elliot Slesser had missed the pink. Give Zhang Ander a big frame. That will hurt Slesser. He's still muttering to himself, wondering what might have been there as the reigning international championship winner moves 4 3 in front.
the key juncture of this first round match at the UK Championship. Elliot Slesser has just lost a frame he'll feel. He Thank should have won. When he missed the pink to the Elliot right centre pocket, you could see his frustration now. Is he going to be able to regroup effectively and get himself level again in this eighth frame? Six the target, of course, for a place in the last 16 and a meeting with either Luca Brasil or Yuan Sejano who's pulled back from 4-2 behind to level at 4-all, although Brasil is about to move 5-4 in front. Another big break, possible third century in the offing for him. to this frame though that Slesser didn't need after the disappointment of missing that pink he'll be relieved to see the cue ball just travel a couple of inches further than Zhang Ander wanted having left the red and Zhang's turned to be annoyed that he didn't get good position there yeah I think that's about as much emotion as you'll ever see from Zhang Ander fairly inscrutable on the red but does he want to take a risk like that at this stage of the match if there's a gap between yellow and green for the red near the left corner Zhang will be very displeased because Elliot can take it on it's a shot to nothing off for Elliot Slesser having lost the previous frame and having played the poor break off to leave Zhang the immediate chance to get in he compounded his misery but happily from his point of view Zhang didn't get position and that's not a good safety from him off a very good shot from Elliot Slesser and getting the cue ball back to the ball cushion three behind. Field to play a very attacking safety shot. Open the pack of reds, get the cue ball in behind. Yellow and brown. There may be a plant on here in the middle of that little group of reds below the pink. Shang Anders just had a look at them. Wow. 
Well, Carl, it certainly was a plant, and that was a beautiful cannon from keyboard to yellow. He's got a choice of yellow or brown here. And of course, in making the plant, he's disturbed a few reds. Will this yet be a nail biter? Зараз огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань Опен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. The brown held a little more positional value there. The yellow is very awkward to try and get position two is next red from. He takes this red on now to the left corner. He's going to have to screw through the reds and the pink and more or less hope to be on the pink rather than expect to be. Выкинь на финишер. Так, дайте он до Рони. Рони набирает. 38 очок в першому фреймі. Тривовий хід на синій шах. Пет Вільямс вирішив Шанк вирішити його кольору. Не вірно, бо він в супі тут. Yes, it's not going to be particularly easy escape either because he's going to have to nominate Brown a field. If you can make contact with it, it'll be a useful safety. Brown will miss. Going on the four. But it's that's a ball. And I think it is a free ball. Free ball. Images of any red. Got to be able to hit both sides of a red in this situation. Otherwise, you can nominate the colour as an extra red. You can't snooker behind a free ball. Yellow is nominated, but you can use the free ball to snooker behind another, and that's what Sless has done. I'm not sure he's played it well enough, though. Is the red that's next to the black available? Can he see it? Judging by Slesser's body language, the answer is in the affirmative.
think Slesser is still trying to absorb the disappointment of missing the pink in the previous frame, which cost him a 4-3 lead. Far from a straightforward table, though, for Zhang Ander. Three of the big value One. colours currently off their spots. So that was a good opening red. It's just beginning to look a little stronger now. This is a very tricky Three. break to make with the high-value colours out of commission. I just wonder if Zhang may have the angle here to pop this red to left corner and screw back into the black to try to develop it. Looking at that angle, not quite. Oh. That's OK on the yellow, but uh, you can see that the majority of the reds are placed quite well down the table. They're all in one another's way as well, so will do very well to score well here. avoid the cannon on the red below the one he's playing I'm sure he can he could really do with having one of these high value colours in play going to be difficult for Shang to engineer anything significant from the chance that he had. Black ball. So just ten points between them. Zhang looks to go two frames clear for the first time and in the process put himself within one of victory. Oh, what a pop. One. Yellow ball. Man says Slesser. Elliot Slesser once again looking to lay a snooker behind a colour via a different colour. But he wanted to be really tight. He's not achieved that. It's a great chance to lay what could have been a telling snooker. Open. Qualification round turnier. Main the wicket. Основная сетка. Match играет с девяти фреймов. A round of applause. It's a very good safety from Zhang Ander. First glance, 
Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, вроде не забываю червоний шар в лівую лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Синіша. Так, і Іроні. Салівон виграє перший фрейм з рахунком 77-0. І видається в матчі з рахунком 1-0. from any of those reds near the black spot. They'll need to be very careful not to push something near that left corner. Relied on a good cue ball though, and that's exactly what he's managed to achieve. That's a wonderful shot because he must have realized the risk he was taking in playing the shot that he did. Terribly appetizing red, so Zhang, after a little thought, decides to have the cue ball replaced. result there because that same red that Zhang looked at previously may still be on. Just felt he could have come off the side cushion and tried to rest the cue ball against the red that's near that left corner. Would have been 
much safer. And if Shan does decide to turn the red down, he's going to have the problem of hiding that red himself that's near that pocket. Too clear, get himself within a frame of the last 16. He's only been there once before, and that was way back in 2016 when he lost heavily to Mark Selby. So another lengthy frame in the offing here. Balls have been awkward throughout. Reds clustered close to the top cushion. points for Zhang Ander because of the position of the balls a 21 point lead at this stage of the frame it's a pretty useful lead Костюм турнире играет Марк Селби, Джек Трамп, Джек Лисовски, Джо Хиггинс, Кин Джин Ху, Хэмпон Сенгахэм, Кин Юнук. Amazing, and these points getting ever more handy for Zhang Ander. often the case what looks like an innocuous snooker turns out to be a bit of a demon and Zhang Ander has a great chance here now to finally eke up that two frame advantage he's been craving
Ten mu vyjde jedno finisher. Taký ironie, Sullivan v hre je prší. Frame s rachunkom. Myslím, že si aj sím na výbovce môžu, že som to bol bol môžu. Shades of Steve Davis's Miss Black in 85. Similar result as well, he overcut it. Not quite as important. A slightly different shade though. securing the left corner pocket this frame isn't going to pick up tempo anytime soon already nearly 28 minutes old the reds drawn magnet like over to that pocket gradually closest to the black. No, he couldn't do. Certainly a very substantial lead given the state of the table which is not at all appetizing at the moment for Zhang Anda. 30 minutes for this frame. The longest was the fifth, which lasted nearly 35. The sixth lasted over 34 minutes. This one, though, is surely going to be extended well beyond those durations.
Zhang and Defoe. Well, a few things seem to be conspiring against Elliot Slesser here in this all-important eighth frame. He's been unlucky on a few occasions. Can you please be as quietly as possible as you leave? Thank you. Players concluded on the other table with world champion Luca Brussel coming through by six frames to four at the expense of Yuan Sijun. So Brussel through to the round of 16 to play the winner of this match. It's a terrific ball. Mm -hmm. Can he get through to the yellow? Open. Well, if you can't see it directly and he has to swerve it, that's not going to be much good to him because I don't think he gets it to red. Oh, that's really tight. That's very tight. Такой же в турнире играет Марк Селби, Джо Трамп, Джек Лисовски, Джо Хиггинс, Кин Джин Ху, Наполн Сенгахен, Кин Юн Ух. Так, печатный большой тренер. In the end, just decided to pot the black for the extra seven points. Eight. Eight. It's hard to see how this frame is going to be resolved one way or the other. One. The yellow remains covering that left corner pocket. Every chance, though, that it could be accidentally potted by one of the players. It's another very thick safety from Shalando. It's a mistake. That could be a game changer. Slesser can remove the yellow. He could be in business because everything else is pretty much out in the open. He's looking a distinct second favorite for most of this frame, particularly with all of the penalty points conceded. But one good shot here. And he could be right back in the picture in his bid to tie this match up again. One. Well. Play for the yellow there, but if he can play for the red, that's uppermost of the four. He can certainly get onto the yellow from that. Yes. Wasn't thrilled with the contact he got there, so he's asked Ben Williams to clean the cue ball. is off to just put a little bit of moisture on his gloves to ensure that he can clean the cue ball effectively. red along the top cushion goodness it will have to go in Ten. stalemate averted but 
This really is a key moment in this match now, with Slessor looking to draw level at four each. This is a big shot. Very well played. And now a chance to steal the frame, which looked unlikely. Two consecutively poor safety shots, leaving the red both times. Elliot Slessor has a golden chance here now. Ninety. He was just beginning to look a little shaky after missing the pink in the previous frame, which cost him. When he was eyeing a 4-3 lead. Gave away a lot of penalty points early in this frame. The balls were awkward. The match was in danger of turning against him, but this would be a very significant steal. Twenty-six. to steal this frame now. That's a need up and two, including the pink. Pointing Positioned here on the green. If he wants to get good position on the brown, it could be rather challenging. Very confidently played. You've got to be spot on with your accuracy when you're playing into the centre pockets at that pace. Nearly 40 minutes, but Slesser won't care if he comes out on top of this frame. A vital frame. 38. Blue and pink still required. Good on the blue, he's going to have to force it in, take the cue ball around the table for position on the pink, so still lots of work to do. Well, it's one of those that under pressure is certainly tough. Particularly if you need the assistance of the rest. Maybe the extension on his butt will be sufficient. But this is the biggest shot of the match so far for Elliot Slesser in his bid to tie this up at four frames all. Pink is all he needs. right in the middle well played Elliot Slesser that was a really impressive little visit to the table and a very timely one for him and he is delighted about it Chang Ander was eyeing a 5-3 lead instead he's hauled back again and it's four each
Так зараз ви огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні Осаліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань Оупен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Матч грається з 9 фреймів. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селді, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Дін Джин Ху, Напон Сенгахен, Тіні Нук. Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, Роні забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Дайте на дороні. Ронь набирає 38 очок в першому фреймі. Так, вихідно в синій шар. Дякую. World champion Luca Brussel, who's come through this afternoon at the expense of Yuan Sijun by six frames to four. We've still got the evening session to come. It's a lengthy match, average frame time of getting on for 25 minutes now. The last frame lasting in excess of 40. The unintended cannon for Slesser. And the shake of the head, now what's the damage? safety shot from Zangande has tied the black up which won't benefit either player Very impressive red from Zangande, given the disappointment of losing the frame before. Just needs one good pot and position, and he'll give himself a good opportunity, albeit the black is tied up, though.
nice choice of two reds, but it's not ideally positioned on either of them, it has to be said. Is he? And that is such an asset in this game, which can play havoc with your mind sometimes. His temperament is rock solid. And he's now got the confidence to go with that temperament. He's put in a lot of work, having briefly considered retiring from the sport during COVID. And he's turned himself from a journeyman into one of the best players in the world right now. He's had a fantastic season already. And he's one victory away from securing a Masters debut. And we did see in a previous camera shot that the pink is available into the right corner. I just wonder about those two reds above the black, whether they could be a plant in the same pocket maybe could find out here because if they are a plant it may be beneficial to play it. 16. And that's handy. Both of those reds are available, as you can see. Once again, played in the gap between the reds for the pink to the left centre. for the right corner. Third. Could be a key moment in this ninth frame. The black goes in, but position is lost. So it's like it breaks over at 38. I just don't see the point in playing that shot because getting the keyboard back to bulk would have caused Elliot far more of a problem.
looks like a good safety. Chang had a similar sort of lead to this in the previous frame, ultimately. Didn't do him any good. Never been more than a frame in it. Slesser took the first. Zhang took the next two. Slesser took the two after that. Zhang replied in kind. And of course, Slesser coming through with that excellent break of 49. Not his biggest of the afternoon, but his most important by far. To tie it up at 4 all when it was looking like 5 3 to Zhang was the more likely outcome. But he left a red in escaping from the snooker, however, again, there's no position to go with that red for Zhang Ander. Yeah, that's where the cue ball is. And Zhang Ander not being... By any means, one of the taller players. How does he reach this? For the bridge rest, still think he could struggle reaching this. Ah, he's okay. Now, is it worth tying at the black, given the fact that he's 39 points to the good here? That's the cue ball. Oh, he's played this well. He's tied the black up and got a good cue ball. Bang under one. certainly opened up the frame. Red's very nicely situated now. But seemingly nothing to go at for Zhang. Yes, obviously can't see enough of the red near the right corner, but the red that's nearest to the right centre could be taken on as a shot to nothing. Could get the cue ball in behind the yellow and the brown from that. close only the pace kept that red out primary goal was to get the cue ball back to some sort of safety but the red has come back up the table yes yeah, a bit of a disastrous outcome from Zhang's point of view because not only is the pot on Elliot could also play the snooker in behind the brown if he wished Virtually no margin of error there. 
Okay, there is a potential for a red to the left centre, but it's very tricky. All likelihood will cost the frame should it not go in. shot because he knew if he missed he was leaving Zhang this opportunity instead Slesser with a chance to move in front and within a frame of victory oh, he's very unlucky to finish so awkwardly against that side cushion need to do a lot with the cue ball but this black is still missable if it's awkward I think Elliot would be the first to admit that at times temperamentally he's perhaps not been the strongest in the past he's always been a very talented player but the way in which he responded to falling 4-3 behind having missed a pink that he should have potted really and found himself in an awkward spot in the next frame. The ball's difficultly placed. Given away a lot of fouls. It's been very impressive the way he's regrouped. He's continued to be positive. It's an excellent break of 49 to pinch the previous frame to get himself back on terms. And now he's threatening to do the same after Zhang took a 39 point lead. It's a brave red into the center just now. Plenty to think about in his bid to secure his master's spot. He's now in danger of falling one down with two to play. The red closest to the pink. Pretty certain will pot into the right centre, maybe even the left corner. And if Elliot can continue to take high-value colours with the three remaining reds, he won't need to worry about the slightly awkward green, but it shouldn't be a problem anyway. Finisher. Oh, 
Okay. That's a mistake. He's too straight on the blue. He suffered a kick previously, so didn't have the opportunity to just roll the red in for the blue. Had to stun across it and playing for the brown would have been more straightforward, but he's given himself a bit of a problem now. from Slesser. The disappointment of not having landed as he wanted on the blue, but again, he's not taking a backward step. 52. Negotiated the tougher brown. He's beginning to look very confident in this match. Blue in, he will be okay. Oh, he could do. He was okay just if this blue keeps going. My goodness. That's what's known as pocket weight. 58. Just had the legs to get there. And this is another big frame. Slesser is now favourite to win. Sixty. 21 the lead, 25 on, so just this green for back-to-back -back frames. Sixty-three. Really impressive stuff, this, from the former two times ranking semi-finalist Elliot Slesser, who's only been in one round of 32, arriving at the UK Championship this year. He negotiated three qualifying round so he's come into this tournament here at the Barbican with wins under his belt having built up a bit of confidence a bit of belief and he's showing it here against one of the season's best The pink doesn't matter. That's another really impressive break of 72 from Elliot Slesser to put himself on the cusp of what would be a big win for him. Zhang Ander now has to win the last two. Slesser leads by five frames to four. Ten frame. 
Elliot Slesser to break. Shang Anders turn to dig deep. Elliot Slesser with back to back frames and he's won them impressively. 49 in the eighth when he was a distinct second favourite at one stage and 72 in the ninth having trailed by 38 points. Showing his mettle at a key juncture in this match. Now it's up to Zhang to try and respond and force a decider. And if there is to be a deciding frame, then there must be some doubt as to whether this match will be able to be finished off in the scheduled afternoon session, given that it's now coming up to 25 to 6 UK time, the evening session underway at 7. The average frame time has been in excess of 24 minutes, so a lengthy frame here. And given that you've got to get this audience out, a brand new audience in this evening, the logistics involved in that could mean that they might have to come back, but that's all in the future. If Slesser wins this frame, of course, that becomes academic. Зараз огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір Вухань Опен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Маді грається з 9 фреймів. On the floor of the auditorium. Why does that cue ball on the bolt cushion behind the yellow button cannon it? Wow. How costly will it be? Joe Higgins, Kim Jin Hu, Napon Sanhahan, Kim Mu. This level of the sport, you really have to make your opponent earn their opportunities. That's why Slesser is so cross because he's gifted this chance to Zhang Ander in the frame he needs to keep his hopes alive. Six. Давайте он до Рони. Рони набрали 30 висемочек в первом фрейме. Just wondering though if Zhang pots this pink, whether it'll still be available. I don't think it's on its spot. It isn't. No, will it still pot into the yellow pocket? Yes, I think so. Фрейм с рахунком 77-0. И выдается матч с рахунком 1-0. So, key shot coming up. Pot the blue with force. Go into the pack of reds. And it's Lesser. Knows how important this next shot is. Zangand will be hoping to somehow bring the black into play here. Unfortunately, he doesn't 19. have an easy next red. One to the right centre is all he has.
a shot to nothing, but misjudged it. In all honesty, that cue ball could have finished anywhere. He's very fortunate. He got so close to that side cushion. He's been prepared to take risks this afternoon, Slessa, with his potting. In order to give himself a chance to make a break. I'll certainly be relieved that the initial error when he caught the yellow and left Shane the chance didn't amount to much greater damage than it did. safe by any means. The red that he's just played that's finished near that right centre may be cuttable. There's a red along the top cushion that will go. Choice of reds to left centre. How brave do you feel, Elliot? Doesn't look as though any damage has been done. The red that's closest to the cue ball may pot into the green pocket. Is there any way that Sanganda can attempt it? Not leave anything on if it doesn't go in. I think the shot to play is just skim off that red close to the cue ball. Try and leave the cue ball on the bolt cushion behind the yellow and the pink. Played a different shot, but achieved the same results. Well played. already 10 minutes just three reds have been potted this could be more than empty frame possibly given the pressure that both these players are under 
играется турнир в Ухань. Open. Квалификационный раунд турнира мает за выход в основную сетку. Мать играется с 9 фреймов. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Наполь Сенгахен, Тіні Нух. Так, початок першого фрейму. Так, Грон не забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихід на синій шар. Вау, Джан Анде Фу. Далее на Роне. Рон набирает 38 очков в первом фрейме. Первый выход на синий шар. Салливан выиграет первый фрейм с рахунком 77-0 и выдает в матч с рахунком 1-0. Safety being played. Oh, how has he found that? What a pop that was from Sangander. Oh. Could have done with that cue ball slowing up though, would have been on the pink. But can he drop onto the yellow? yellow? Leave the cue ball behind the pink. official to him. Do you think this will reach, will it? No. Oh, Importantly, though, has he left a red on? placed here. I'd want to be much straighter on a red if there is one available.
this. Bang on the floor. This time, zone does have a red along the top cushion with a good angle on it, but the pot itself is intrinsically quite difficult, particularly under pressure. But he could play for the black from it. stage for a 5-3 lead but Elliot Slesser was able to pinch the 8th frame very impressively holding his nerve on a tricky pink since then Slesser is the stronger of the two just wondering Phil if Elliot does pot a red and a black I think the black spots firmly occupied but if the black We'll go on the pink spots, it could be tied up immediately. Go on to the pink spot now. How tied up is hey. the black? May pot into the left center, perhaps. What it means is, though, Elliot will be trying to play for the red next to the black because that certainly pops into the right corner. And he can just roll the blue no. in now and play for that red next to the black, which I'm sure would be what he was thinking all along. Only really has at the moment three easily accessible reds to play for. Those four reds in groups of two. Will be a little bit of a problem perhaps. Ронни О'Салліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань. Опен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Маді грається з 9 фреймів. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Непон Сенгахем, Кіні Нух. Так, що тут перший фейнер. Та й Роні забуває червоний шар в ліву лузу. Вихідний шар. I don't think he's left himself perfectly on this next red to the left corner. Так, 
так, давайте на дороге. Дороги набрали 30 висимочек в большом фрейме. Фонтина. It's gone wrong. Surely can't risk the black now. Так, выходим с финиша. Так, Elliot Slessor loses position and has to settle for a safety Elliot just three points behind with 75 still on the table. Surely there isn't a gap between the yellow and the brown. Goodness me, there is. looked a potentially very challenging safety shot it was rather straightforward in the end but the cannon on the blue has given Elliot Slesser an opportunity to pop this red Too thin on the red. The ricochet from the jaw of the middle pocket has given Zanganda a great opportunity now. on the black now he can play a deep screw and play for a choice of reds into this right corner but that's a pretty challenging shot to have to play at this stage of the match to play for the black again. Another excellent shot. Once again, a good angle on the red to the left corner to stun up for the black. You'll need to start thinking about developing those two awkward reds. He could just flick off them here. 
cannot afford to miss the pot. Seventy. Two reds. Now, if the yellow pots past the brown, is okay. Yellow. This match has felt destined for a final frame for quite some time. There's just been nothing to choose right from the get-go. Never more than a frame between them. And now Zhang with a golden chance to take us to an 11th and deciding frame. 22 the lead, just doing the maths, which isn't always easy when you're under this sort of pressure. At the end of a big contest like this, Two more reds should do it. 20. He's been very resolute here, Zangander. Lost the last two frames. You've been in control of both of them, particularly that last frame. Twenty-eight. Just this black then. We're going all the way. And in it goes. It's been a marathon. Zhang Ander, as per usual, looking very cool, very calm, very collected. He's getting away from him, but he's found a response. And that red 36. absolutely ensures that this match will go the distance. Elliot Slesser resigned to a decider. Oh, great. I think he would have taken that when he was 4-3 down, and looking likely to be 5-3 behind. He did have chances in this frame. And Zhang, however, who's come through. Question is, will, will they be playing the decider very shortly, or will they have to come back later on? 52. Yes, just gone six o'clock local time. The evening session due to get underway just after seven. 57. Sixty-three on the frame. He is allowed to pot the black. <laughs> and he does in some style. Superb break from Zhang Ander to take us all the way. Five frames apiece. Then we can finish up.
big round of applause for the finale to this fascinating marathon battle between Zhang Ander, the international championship winner this season, and Elliot Slesser. He's had a fairly indifferent campaign before arriving for this tournament. Three qualifying victories. And now within a frame of knocking out the form horse. But he might have got it done with a frame to spare. Zhang showing his mettle as he's done so often of late with a break of 70 to take us the distance. We are very evidently going to be playing this final frame ahead of the scheduled resumption for this evening session in barely an hour's time. It may not be the best break-off shot that from Zhang Ander be a choice of reds for Elliot into either corner pocket really but this is when all that practice all those hours that you put in over a number of years can come to fruition for situations like this when the pressure is at its greatest good safety from Zhang Ander because he's hidden the left-hand side of the table. The right-hand side is much more congested. And although there is a potential for a red to the right corner, it's very difficult at this stage. And it's not without risk. of course but that could be very costly he's no stranger to disappointing close defeats in the UK championship four times he's been on the wrong end of the final frame decider sort of opportunity that you hope for in a deciding frame because you know, San Ander can pot the red, the black. The black will be back on its spot and it will be available. there because he really was struggling to reach it and that's not a good shot that he's what? played it's very short of ideal position on the black Zde rozde ohled mačů, jakou mezi hrají. 
Роні О'Салліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань. Опен. Кваліфікаційний раунд турніра має за вихід в основну сітку. Адіграється з 9 фреймів. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селді, Джет Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Напон Сенгахен, Кін Юнух. Так, початок першого фрейму. Дякую. straightish blue there is a red that he can play for at the top of that little group of reds by the pink spot there but there's a lot of pressure on this
Fell, it's safe to say he didn't risk getting too close to his next red there. Yeah, this is another tester if he's going to keep this break going. previous red was excellent that split from blue to that little group of red just works out just as well great chance now Zanganda to go on and clinch victory at this very effort yes and the victories that he's put together this year getting to the English Open final having never previously been to a ranking quarter final or beyond a ranking quarter final before overcoming the disappointment of losing that final from a position of great strength against Judd Trump to then go one better in the international championship, beating Ronnie O'Sullivan along the way, making a 147 in the final. All of these things greatly in Zhang's favor in a position like this. He knows that he's got what it takes to get over the line in big matches now. That belief was lacking until he arrived in Brentwood for the English Open. But what a stunning transformation it's been. Still work to do, though. Plenty of it. 36 in front. Sless has performed very well this afternoon. He's put together a very competent performance. Hasn't made too many errors. He's been very, very solid throughout, it has to be said. If he doesn't go on to win this match now, I'm sure he'll be feeling very disappointed. Probably the green is the ideal color to play. You can stun down for one of the reds in the pink spot. Wanted to be straighter on it. Still work to do. Open. Квалификационный раунд турнира мает за выход основную сетку. Мать играется с 9 фреймов. Так вот, в этом турнире играем Марк Селби, Джет Трамп, Джек Лисовский, Джо Хиггинс, Кин Джин Ху. Well, they certainly didn't intend to be on the black, but that is probably the easiest colour that he could attempt, but it's certainly missable.
так, давайте на дороге. Ройн на Брае. Третий висимочок по всему фрейме. 66. Left on the table. Last thing stand. Pretty close. Take three, but not quite there. He knows he ought to be taking the black, but it's pretty safe where it is. It's a bit of insurance given the lead that he has. situation like this but not decisive 46 the difference still 59 available to Elliot Slesser is there to be a twist can't help but feel he just thought about that previous situation for far too long he went full-blooded for the pot a deciding frame you just hope for an opportunity well, Elliot certainly had one when he missed that simple pink to the left center simple under ordinary circumstances but I wonder if you may have a chance here are those two reds that Sangander has just placed together a plant they certainly look to be So just 51 available. 45 the deficit. Could be cozy up to the yellow. He's played that well. Not an easy shot to execute. Couldn't have played it much better. isn't available.
Chang is just a ball away now from winning this match, barring snookers. 45 in front with 51 left. worth a go at the double on the red he's got a bit of insurance one of the reds tied up by the black the other on the side cushion Elliot would like to bring that black into play something he tried to do previously I feel planting it off the top jaw yeah, that's certainly a help Again. It feels like a very big lead given the position of the balls. Зараз ви огляд матчу, в якому зіграє Роні О'Саліван і Кен Догерті. І грається турнір в Ухань Опен. Possibility maybe of a cross double here. If you place the red that's adjacent to the pink spot near the right side cushion there. The remaining reds are all in awkward positions, so I don't think he'd be doing himself a disservice by removing this one. Також в цьому турнірі грає Марк Селбі, Джек Трамп, Джек Лісовський, Джо Хіггінс, Кін Джин Ху, Наполь Сенгахен, Кіні Нух. Так, початок першого фрейму. Elliot Slesser could play the right hand red here, maybe screw the cue ball into the black to knock it towards that corner pocket. He'd have to be a little bit careful not to leave a pot on if he did play that shot. Great shot, says Slesser, ironically, because it wasn't. And Zhang only needs the red for a titanic victory. What a battle it's been. Slesser has contributed greatly and was looking the stronger player at 5-4. But this will mean he needs a snooker. And in it goes, and he's going to have the pink to follow. And there's the handshake. What a marathon it was. But Zhang Anders' wonderful season continues. He's had to work extremely hard to repel the threat of Elliot Slesser. He's come through in a final frame decider and has booked his place at the Masters, the International Championship.